Oh, musky. Oh, holy crap. I got one on. Oh, man. Look at this fish. What's up, what's up, what's up, guys? We are doing a little solo striper and musky fishing here in East Tennessee. I've been working on the boat all day and finally got my dang replacement remote for my trolling motor. So I am back in business to do some fishing. And I've got the next couple days off where today's Sunday evening. So I got this evening off and tomorrow to get some fishing in. So we're gonna see what we can do. We may do a little trolling with uh, big baits for stripers, artificials, and then uh, just some musky fishing, which I haven't done in forever. So we'll see how that goes. Well, we're gonna try to film with this uh, here chest mount since I'm by myself. And we'll see what happens, baby. We'll see what happens. I'm on a pretty steep ramp and my danger ranger with the boat doesn't really like this. So we'll see if I get stuck or not. Oh, baby. We got a new remote. And we will see what happens. Is that sucker charging? Heck, I don't know. We'll see. Probably could have pushed her in just a little further, but whatever. Got this baby hooked up with a 100 pound mono. And it's tied onto the side of my pants through the belt loop. Man, she's all nice and pretty. These things, when you're launching by yourself, are just awesome. Just the best. There she goes. She can just hit this little anchor button. And she stays right there. Or freaking Ranger. Except it's a Mazda. So it's a knockoff. <laughs> and sometimes these things go full Dumbo mode like it's doing right now and just slamming it against the side of the dock on full blast. Yeah, it's on 10. Aha, uh -huh. good. All righty, we gonna do, do a little fishing. Put all my junk up here.
Alrighty, so we are gonna do a little musky fishing with artificials. It's a decently, well, it's kind of overcast. There's been storms rolling in and out. So I think we'll have an activity period soon here. So what I'm fishing is a main river here. This is in East Tennessee. It's a cool water river, so we can safely musky fish in here. And then I'm gonna go and check and see in these back coves um, if there are any active fish that have moved up out of the main channel up in here. And then if I don't find anything in there, I'll move out here into the main current and try out here. And I'm just gonna use a variety of different baits. It's been a while since I've done this, so I'm gonna have to relearn a bunch of it. But I'm gonna start out with more active presentations like bucktails and spinner baits and top water. And then if that doesn't work, I'll switch to some jerk baits and crank baits and stuff like that to see if I can pick off some inactive fish. But uh, we'll see. What we're going to start off using here is just called a, a bucktail. Uh, it's a very popular musky bait and it works really well when the fish are active, like during the summer when the water temps are a little bit warmer. It's a searching bait. It's basically a big giant rooster tail. And uh, what I've got that on is it's just a big Okuma Komodo, what I use for striper and stuff. One of the musky rods, 65 pound braid to a 100 pound fluorocarbon leader and then snap swivel and then a barrel swivel up here because these guys do have teeth and uh, they will mess you up or your baits up if you don't have the right stuff on. What we're kind of fishing here is this big bay dumps in this main channel and you can see there's a current seam right here and then some deep water in this area and there's some trees and stuff that come off of it. So I'm sitting like on the seam, casting towards the shore and bringing my bait back into the seam. There's also a mud line right here because it's been raining and uh, the runoff comes out of these creeks and hits the main channel right here. There's a little thunder. How you doing?
Oh, musky. Oh, holy crap. I got one on. Oh, baby. Heck yeah. Oh, buddy. <laughs> he hit it on top. Oh, that was awesome. Oh, keep him down. Keep him down. Oh, baby. Look at that fish. Look at this musky. He inhaled it. Oh, man. Look at this fish. That's a good one. Oh, come here. That's a good fish. <laughs> Got his butt. <laughs> Heck yeah. Okay. In the net, baby. Yes. <laughs> I'm shaking. Oh, that hit it on top. Oh, that was awesome. I'm glad I brought these guys. He ain't happy. Man, what a mean fish. Look at that thing. Holy Toledo. Check out this fish. Whoa, baby. Look at that musky. <laughs> awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. We'll get him released. fight he was jumping man that was cool <laughs> been working on the boat all day was stressed about work stuff and all this stuff I got going on in normal world and you come out here to this and it's all better I'm gonna let him revive a bit he just inhaled the bait, so it took me a little while to get it unhooked. This guy's probably 43, something like that. I don't have a bump board with me, so I'm not going to spend the time to um, try to tape it out and stuff. We're just going to get him back. He chilling. This water temp down here is probably upper 60s, maybe 70, 71, 72. What a fish. What a fish. On top water too, right at dark as the storm's drawing in, textbook. Got active, moved up in here. Get him on top water. Come on, baby. I'll let you go if you're ready. That tail's a moving. See you, baby. Oh, man. That was just awesome. I love fishing guys. I'm just shaking from that. That's not even close to the biggest one I've ever caught, but I've been fishing for maybe 20 minutes or so. I needed that one. That was just awesome. Whew. Incredible, incredible, incredible. Let's see if we can get a 50 guys. I have got to get me a musky net. Man, it smells like musky in here. That's where they get their name. Musky. 
Zdaj bi mski. Wild. He just slurped it off the surface too. I had was fixing a little backlash and just barely ticking it and thunk. Just gone. The lure disappeared. It wasn't a blow up. He just tipped and it was gone. I'd like to shout out my sponsors, sunscreen and uh, caffeine. Thank you. Has brought us this fish. Yeah. Let's see much, how much time we got until storm comes all the way in. Oop, just got missed. That looks like a bass though. Just slowing it and letting it sink and then bringing it back up. Like it'll sink just below the surface a little bit and then when you bring the blades back up, that's when that musky hit it and that's when that bass just came up and hit it. Time to go. Boy, that is nasty, guys. Got a top water musky boy, but Lord, that front's rolling, and I gotta get out of here. You can hear that thunder. I'm about to haul tail down this river once I get out of this cove. Oh Lord, here comes that storm. Oh my God, look at that rain. Look at that storm coming in, holy crap, down to go. Man, that's a monster. crazy butts the only person left at this ramp Ooh, gotta get this boat ah. this deck on front is rolling in holy shit.
Holy crap. This is nasty. Don't come out here and do this. Get the heck out of there before the storm gets here. See if I can hit this bitty on the first shot. Man, that wind is making it hard to load this boat. Let's go see where I'm at on it. Oh. Ah, hit it perfect, first time. First time on the money. That camera's probably covered in water, but it ain't a fishing show unless some crazy stuff happens with me. I hope my mama didn't watch this. Well, I got that sucker back on the boat, or the trailer in the nick of time. It's pouring, and it's lightning like crazy i cut it closer than i would have liked this time but i got me a big old musky and i'm still freaking hype about it but uh we're gonna go home now and uh, get the boat unloaded and get ready for some fishing tomorrow i don't know what i'm gonna do yet but i had a good time this evening before this uh giant front pushed me out but that's classic big fish hit, get active right before the front front moves in you just gotta Make sure you're out of it before he gets here. And I almost regretted it. Hopefully my mom doesn't watch this. 